Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Um, I seem to be doing well recently playing Third File Rook. However, that doesn't mean I want to play it every game. So, we'll see what I end up playing, but it might not always be that. Also, good luck. Oh, I seem to be not hearing audio. Um, one second while I correct that. You can hear it, I'm sure. I just, I can't hear it. So, yeah, my speaker toggled into a different mode where I could not hear it. There we go. So it's going to say also on uh, Shogi Harper's YouTube channel, she's been publishing videos on the topic of the Urashino opening. And I do intend to try it again sometime. So is that going to be today? I wonder. Or am I going to try some other day? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, it's the thing. All right, let's do it. <sighs> yeah. I think it's reasonable for the opponent to decline this madness. Um, that's like the one position where I can get away with the pawn push, I think. Because I've tried it in many other positions, and generally, pushing the center pawn just gives up ground for no reason and no benefit. Um, but here, there is some benefit to it. Um, bishop up, silver up. Hmm. Pawn takes... Something takes, 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 takes. Uh, maybe I throw this in first. I'm feeling adventurous. Oh. My opponent is not feeling adventurous. Okay, then. I guess this calls an end to my little expedition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it's challenging to adventure if you don't have any adventurers. Um, Hmm, that's sensible. Man, I was hoping to get some epic position. Instead, we got something I should have been able to predict. Um. Hmm. All right, hopefully this is better than it looks. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, no, I think taking is reasonable. Let's do it. Uh, 
Okay. I tried to promote. Maybe I should have tried to really hard to collect this. Um, I didn't think that worked, but maybe I needed to try harder. Um, because this is not working. Hmm. Okay. Oh, interesting. There is a purpose to this move. There is a purpose to this as well. Oh, but they can trap my bishop. There we go. Guess we have to play the obvious move. Drop a pawn on the focal point. Well, what would that point be? Gofun. Which point would be the focal point? Right, so I wanted to move this gold up so there would be a possibility of advancing this silver without losing my rook. In retros yeah, this perfectly counters my idea. Even better than my counter does. Um, fine. Two can play that game, but only one successfully because you have a pawn to drop as well. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I dropped my pawn. Right, I knew that. All right, my horse is forfeit. It's fine. Oh, never mind.
Or actually, they're just choosing not to take it. Um, and this is a way for me to activate my piece. It only works if they cooperate. Um, oh, shnikes. Uh, yeah, they can drop here. Oh, well, they missed it. Um, or they don't need it. Sampun. Either way, I'm impressed. Um... Okay, here goes nothing, quite literally. Um. Oh. Nifun sanju byo. All right. I. I'm getting ground down into dust in a way that has not happened on this channel before. Um. I'm impressed. This is one hell of a beatdown. <laughs> Thanks for the game. Very well played. I don't think I played terribly that game. I just got completely trounced. Alright, one down, two to go. Good luck. Shouldn't have moved the silver first. Should have opened this diagonal first and then moved the silver. We know this. Yes, we should know it. Um, they can go pawn hunting. That's fine. I've done that quite a few times. It's just a loss of time. Um, It looks spooky, but it's fine. Now this, I can kick back the silver without fear of something exploding. Um, although maybe I don't want to. But yeah, if the bishop enters... Oh. Okay. Extra super delayed Urashino attack. Fine. Let's just put my king to safety then. The bishop and the silver are not aligned. Mm-hmm. What am I missing? Something doesn't look right. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm down a pawn, and I don't like being down a pawn. I pretend to be indifferent, but I care. Um... Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really fun opening if you can play it. And lately on this website, you can see I'm like halfway up to the next rank uh, since I mostly stopped playing it. And today I'm playing it and I lost one game against a 25Q. Um, it's not an easy opening. An 81 dojo, it can be easy, but here, not so much. Alright, let's get these pieces exchanged. And ask what the hell the opponent was planning in case of this. This is what they had planned. Wait a second. If I drop a bishop, they move the silver. Um, okay, now we just drop this here. There we go. And take the rook. Um, so what do I do now? I've got a rook and they've got a king. So let's try to make something of that situation. Hmm. Hmm. Man, this would be nice if I had a checkmate. Um. Yeah, okay, let's just try to hit the king. I don't see any bishop drop that devastates my position. Back we go. If this gold moves away, then I can fork this pawn and this pawn. But the gold would have to move toward the center. All right, so opponent has finally Nana dropped fun. their bishop. The bishop cannot promote. Uh, the bishop has one square to go to. They're threatening this silver drop. That's the point. Okay, that took me a second. Um, all right, if I move my silver, they threaten this silver drop. Hmm. Okay, this is awkward. I think I see a move that does a, removes every silver drop. I think this is the magic move, where just somehow every square is defended once, and if necessary, twice. Um... So this way they cannot drop a silver in my camp, and if they cannot drop the silver in my camp, then this bishop drop is too heavy. The rook drop is extremely heavy, but the rook wasn't going anywhere anyway. So I'm okay with making this heavy drop since it covers so many spaces that otherwise I don't have a good way to cover. Maybe I did have some way with like silver retreat. I don't know. I couldn't find it easily. Uh, oh, I could take two silvers for a rook. Um, maybe that's a bad idea. It looks like a good idea. They're going to pile up. Well, no, they can't pile up on that. 
All right, so yeah, two silvers for rook is not a bad deal, but in this position it is because my castle is weak. Therefore, I need to wait a move and then push this pawn and then take the silver. If they see this pawn push idea, they'll do something to stop it. Um, well, that does stop the idea. Um, there's one downside to that. Okay, guess we can take one of these too. Sure. Sure, why not? Thanks for the At least they were up 30 seconds. Yeah, time pressure sucks. It would be good to play time controls that have a delay or an increment. Or be on me. But, oh well. Good luck. can never remember every little detail here. So they push this. Um, did I push? No. This is what I normally do. Okay. But yet yeah, from yesterday we learned to do not prematurely exchange bishops. That a bishop exchange can lose a tempo, so just don't do that prematurely. Uh, possibly we're going to find today that this is also a wrong move order, and I should have done... Oh, I could have pushed pawn 5-5. Five five. Pawn 5-5 five is thematic, but our opponent's like hellbent on stopping it, so it didn't happen yet. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. I build my castle. Okay. There we go. And then the bishop can transfer over here as desired, unless I push this pawn, which I might. Oh, all right, welcome. Um, let's see. Hmm. I feel like I should know that. Yep, they have to play that move, and I don't have to answer it. Um, so they stop me from pushing pawn 5-5, five five, which their stopping doesn't really change this position in any major way. Um... I guess the unfortunate bit is that my bishop is going to be difficult to use effectively here. Hmm.
Yeah, the central file rook opening without pawn 5-5 five five is extremely weird. Um, it's unnatural for this to happen. Normally the pawn's on 5-5 five five and the silver's up here. Here I'm playing with the space deficit. But the opponent has to attack. What's our next proverb today? Hmm. So yeah, checkmate by pawn drop is illegal. Um. Okay, that's weird. What's the opponent doing? Oh, they're trying to get a pawn some different way so they can... Okay. Um... I'll have to take this because I've... Oh. I don't understand. Um... Yeah, they're playing to try to get this fork tactic back here. Maybe there are other tactics too. Um, hmm. I think what happened is a player thought they recognized a pattern. Oh, never mind. I'm giving up a knight, but I'm getting there a knight. Am I? I don't know. <sighs> I made this complicated. I was trying to keep it simple. Shogi just is not simple. Uh, silver drop. If the gold defends the knight, rook takes pawn. Then I could take a silver, they take my knight. Then my gold drops back, and they've collected a knight and a lance, but given a silver. And the knight and the lance can attack me pretty effectively. Oh. Never mind. They're not playing the tactic, this thing. Um, hmm. Hmm. What a mess. All right, so I sidestep a fork before it has a chance to happen again. I mean, I guess they have a different fork now, but I can hit the rook. Um, strange.
I activate my bishop. The real point is I'm trying to get them to take this pawn so that it's legal for me to drop a pawn down here. Then having dropped the pawn, I can uh, surround the silver and collect it. So the silver's surrounded, this knight is surrounded, uh, this pawn not surrounded. Hmm. But yeah, unwinding this mess might take some moves. Um, Go Fun. They offer a bishop exchange. I accept. I attack their silver general. If they take this gold, I win the rook. More likely they sacrifice the silver and then take... Well, if they take the pawn, I get this, but then they win the rook. All right, so I win a rook. But quite possibly... No irony here. Possibly the sacrifice, getting a goal... Oh. I was about to say their position looks decent. Like, yeah, it's not what either of us would have planned for or wanted, but I think it was okay. I could be mistaken. Maybe giving the rook for a gold is somehow terrible, but to me that looked playable. Painful, but it still looks like a game. But if it, it's okay to end it there. I would have just played on maybe another ten moves or so. Uh, but that was good fun, wasn't it? I hope we enjoyed. Thanks for watching and have a good day.